Yo, what is up guys? So today I got my first question. Thank God. I've always wanted to do <laughs> Q&As. I've always wanted to do videos where like people ask me questions about like self-development and them wanting to improve and then I come on in like fucking Superman and give them a sick ass answer. So today is going to be my first time being able to do this. I got a, a question from a friend about how he could stop being uh, like germaphobic. Um, he says that he kind of realizes that it's not the best mindset to have and he, you know he constantly you know you know showers or washes his hands because he's you know afraid and whatnot and I love this question because it is applicable in so many different areas right being afraid or being uncomfortable um, and the best way I'm gonna answer this question is by first recognizing that there's two things going on when you're afraid of something or you feel uncomfortable first is the lack of actual knowledge about what you're afraid of most of the things in the world are not gonna kill you um, and it's a false fear that your brain actually has because what it needs to survive it really repels things that it thinks could somehow some creative way could potentially kill you right um, so the first thing I want to let everybody know whatever you're afraid of go and get educated on it read a little bit about germs so in this case you know he's a little germophobic a lot of the germs like dirt um, a lot of like different microbes are actually beneficial if they're coming from the dirt and not so much coming from like cities and grimy ass places for sure at that point. Like if I'm in the city like San Francisco and I go around and I touch a bunch of doorknobs, yeah, before dinner, I'm going to wash my fucking hands. You know what I mean? But if I'm out in nature, the actual microbes there are actually so beneficial um, to your own microbiome. And you probably already have those microbes in you. So you see, like, already, like, that knowledge, you're already creating two separate situations where maybe you should wash your hands and one you can chill. So learning about whatever your, not phobia is, but whatever you're afraid of. One example for myself could it could even be like uh, afraid to like approach girls. I, this is such a common one. You know, we're all guys uh, for the most part. Everybody who watches these videos are guys. Um, and, and the more I kind of learned about it, like, OK, like girls are OK with you <laughs> fucking up, being silly, not being a perfect person. And your anxiety starts to go down. So learning first part is learning right about what you're afraid of number two is actual exposure right like there's something in psychology that's called uh, exposure therapy this is really used for people that have OCD and I've used it on myself so many times and it literally gives you so much more confidence um, and the way you the, the way exposure therapy works is like let's say you're afraid of um, like wearing a certain color of shirt uh, a lot of guys are afraid to wear pink. I think that's kind of gone now. But before, uh, <laughs> maybe like five, seven years ago, you know, wearing pink was probably not the coolest thing to do. Um, so sometimes I'd have a pink shirt and I'd be like, uh, afraid, 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 uh, judgment, whatever. I'm gonna put that shirt on and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna expose myself and I'm gonna expose that fear of mine. Now, when it comes to like germs and stuff, Maybe go get your hands dirty uh, with proper dirt, like go touch a tree. If you're afraid of the germs on trees, which are not going to hurt you at all, go rub some leaves and you're going to have some dirt and just dust that off and go about your day. So you're slowly exposing yourself to different microbes now that you know that like, <laughs> like there's a 50-50 uh, good and bad microbes from like the city to like nature microbes. Now you can touch plants. You know that you're going to be okay. You probably still have that discomfort, but now you're exposing yourself to the ability to <sighs> relax. I'm fine. I know I'm fine. I'm no one. I know I'm fine. I know I'm fine and move forward. This works with anything, 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 anything. Learn about it a little bit more. Go expose yourself. You're still going to have that repetitive you know, little voice talking to you like this is fucked up. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And you have to be like, hey, this is fine. I know that this is fine. I researched that this is okay. I'm going to expose myself to this now. And little by little, you're just on. You're on fire. Uh, I've, I've done this with a lot of things with wearing different types of clothes. I used to not go to school when I was in middle school if I did not put gel in my hair. Uh, if I, and if I didn't have a combed nice hair, I'd freak out in middle school. Um, and little by little, 
I expose my like like mess it up a little bit and so on and so forth. So guys, uh, exposure therapy and knowledge is a great way to get rid of any type of fear and to get yourself in a position where you could live just a more free life because it is constricting having fears if you have to keep washing your hands constantly and you know deep down that this is not a rational thing. So thank you guys for watching. Ask me questions. It helps me make videos <laughs> as well as it's fun. I love helping people. Um, cause I've done a lot of self development and it's just good to like give back. And also like, it helps me bring back that knowledge and bring it to my fourth front because it's probably going to help me today. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like the video, if you like the video and it's going to help me. All right. Appreciate you guys. Peace out.